Okay, so here is the wig fresh out of the pack. I still even have the uh, stock card attached to it. So I'm just gonna take the stock card off and then we're gonna put this on my head and we will shape and cut it. So the stock card is now off of the wig and um, before I put it on my head I always make sure to check that like none of the hair is caught in the combs because that can also promote tangling in the nape so I just make sure that the combs are clear of any hair and then I throw on my head So this is the wig in its original form. And it looks not that bad. It just needs a little shaping. Um, so I make sure it's like positioned on my head correctly. And then I kind of gauge where I want to cut it. So I don't want to cut them too short on the first go because that's how you ruin the wig. You can always cut more, but you can't put hair back once you've cut it. So you gotta be very careful and just take your time, don't rush it. So I'm just like pulling the hair to the front and I think this looks okay. I'm also looking, there's a mirror underneath my um, camera. So that's, what I'm, that's where I'm looking just to make sure that everything is straight and that the bangs are full enough because I don't like a thin bang. All right. So you just wanna make sure that it's all situated and then grab any type of scissors that you have. I literally have these scissors that cost me a dollar. I got them from Family Dollar. You don't need any like fancy shears or anything. Um, and then just start cutting and I do it little by little. That is the secret. Don't just cut off big chunks because that could be a true disaster. So I just start trimming small sections like so. And I actually kind of like a long bang that kind of droops into the eyes. I think it looks really cute. So I don't really like to cut my bangs too high up, but I do need it short enough where I can see, so. And when I'm cutting, I'm not cutting straight. I'm cutting on a diagonal just so that the ends aren't super blunt because you want it to look natural. You want it to look like a bang, a natural bang. So you can already see like it's taking shape. I'm also cutting some pieces on the side because again, a bang doesn't necessarily stop here and then it's all the same length. It's kind of a gradual thing. So. Obviously you have the bang up here, but then you have, you have the shorter pieces on the side. So that's what I'm doing now. Just trimming and shaping. I think I'm almost done actually. I mean, this looks pretty good. I'm just cutting more pieces. And again, like if you end up wearing your wig a week later and you feel like, hey, I could cut more pieces, you can do that too. This is my second um, rule breaker wig. Um, and I will give you guys the specs in just a minute, but I wanted to I wanted to get the cutting bang tutorial out of the way first. So if you feel like the next time you wear it that hmm, the first time I wore it, the bangs were a little too long, you can always get, go in and cut more pieces and make it shorter. So yeah, but I'm like, such a picky person when it comes to my bangs that I don't really like to cut too much 
and you kind of just let the wig do the work for you like let it guide you and tell you what pieces to cut and it kind of just like will form on its own So now that that is done, I can, so yeah, I think I'm going to stop right here. I don't think I need to cut anymore. Um, let me see. Can I check the side profile too, just to make sure it looks Okay. I just love this wig. It's just so good. The curl pattern is so natural looking. And I've gotten so many compliments from people who think that this is like my real hair. Um, and they're like, oh my gosh, what's your secret? And I'm like, uh, it's a wig. <laughs> so, yeah. And the color is really pretty. I think it really complements my skin tone, so that's why I like it. But I think, I think I'm done with cutting the bangs. And I, guys, I literally cut like a few pieces. This is all I cut. The wig really does come almost about, I would say 95% done. You just really need to trim a few pieces just so the hair is not in your face. Um, so yeah. That's pretty much it. So I've pretty much done. Let me my eye a little bit. Just trimming it out of the way. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so this wig, this beautiful wig that I have on my head, is the Sensational Rule Breaker, and it's in the color T1B30. So this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like on the model. And I think she has on like a 1B or like a one, like a natural color. Um, the previous, uh, I, I had, this is my second wig, as I mentioned before, and the first one that I had, I got in the same color. I just love this color. I don't know. I just think it really complements my skin tone. Um, I paid around $15 um, for this wig, which is extremely affordable. I think it's ranges from like $15 to $17. I got it on ebonyline.com, and that's my favorite website. Um, that's been my favorite website recently to like purchase wigs, because if you purchase over 30 bucks, you get um, reduced shipping so it's like i think it's like 4.99 shipping if you if you um buy over 30 dollars worth of merchandise and that's like such an easy goal to hit if you get like two wigs that's pretty much good so i got this wig and i also got the penny wig which i'm gonna do another video on and the total for me was 35 bucks i mean you can't beat that two wigs for 35 dollars so i would definitely recommend get, getting this uh these wigs off of ebony line um the curl pattern is like a three, I want to say it's like a three B pattern. Um, it's definitely not my natural curl pattern. I'm a four C girl. My hair is very kinky um, and it's pretty much as full as this, but my, my curl pattern does not match this wig. Um, so yeah, it's just like a nice little change of pace with my hair and it's so quick. I don't have to blend anything. I don't have to pluck anything like a lace front because it's a full cap and it's bangs. So I literally just put it, throw it on my head and I'm out the door. Um, just like zhuzh it up a little bit. And yeah, so this is the wig. I will list all of the specs down below um, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.